So in this video, we will learn how to create project in Asana from Google Sheet. Now suppose you are adding the details of a new project in Google Sheet and you want to add those product or create those project in Asana as well. Now you can completely automate this process and the trigger of this automation will be addition of new task or new project in Google Sheet and the action will be creation of project in Asana as well. Now guys, how you can automate or you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So first of all, we will go to a browser and search for P-A-B-B-L-Y, pavli.com slash connect. And after reaching to the landing page of Pavli Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So I will sign into my own Pavli Connect account. And after signing in, you will reach to this all apps page of Pavli. Here, just click on access now below Pavli Connect. And now we can see that we have reached to Public Connect's dashboard. And in this dashboard, just click on Create Workflow and now give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Google Sheets to Asana and click on Create. Now we can see that a workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is Trigger window, second one is Action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first we have to get the details or the data of new project, which we are adding in our Google sheet in Pavli Connect. Then after that using Pavli Connect, we will send that same data so that using those details, we can create a new project in Asana as well. Now guys, here in Pavli Connect to begin with, in trigger window, search for Google Sheets. Google Sheets it is. And after that, in trigger event from the drop down, select new or updated spreadsheet row. So as we select our trigger event, Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now using this webhook URL, we will connect our Google Sheet and Pavli Connect. And how we are going to do this? you can refer to the help text given below over here. So just copy this webhook URL from here, go to your Google Sheet with, in which you are entering new project details. And here just go to extensions, add-ons and click on get add-ons. Now as we click on get add-ons, we will reach to Google Workspace Marketplace. And here we have to search for Pavli Connect webhooks, P-A-B-B-L-Y, Pavli Connect webhooks. And as you can see, Pavli Connect Webhooks, this add-on is already installed in my Google Sheet. Just install this add-on from here into your own Google Sheet and after that, just refresh your Google Sheet once. This is a very important step. After that, just go to Extensions and here in the drop-down this time, you can see Pavli Connect Webhooks. This add-on can be seen over here. Just hover on it and on the right side, click on Initial Setup. After clicking on Initial Setup, in this dialog box, it is basically asking us three things. First thing is selected sheet. Second is workflow URL. And the third is trigger column. So guys, in selected sheet, because in the background, you can notice that in this sheet, in this spreadsheet, I have only one sheet named as sheet one. That is why by default, it has selected sheet one. Then the second thing it asks us is the webhook URL. So in webhook URL section, we have to paste the same webhook URL, which we have copied from Pavli Connect. And then in trigger column, basically here you must be thinking, what is this trigger column? So trigger column is basically the last data entry column of your Google Sheet. For example, in the background, you can notice column D will be my trigger column because it is the last data entry column of my Google Sheet. After column D and any of the column, my data doesn't exist. So basically D, E, F, G, H, any column could be your trigger column. Just ensure that it is the last data entry column of your sheet. So just enter your trigger column and then click on submit. Just close this box. After submitting, go to extensions, Pavli Connect webhook and click on send on event. Now guys, after selecting send on event, we have ensured that the connection between our Google Sheet and Pavli Connect is successfully done. Now, every time the data in our Google Sheet will be added in a new row till our trigger column, the same data will be captured inside Pavli Connect workflow over here as well. Let's do this. We are going to add the details of a new project. For example, the project name is 
Google Docs integration. The description is we have to integrate Google Docs with Public Connect. Okay, so this is basically the description. Okay, so this is the description. This is the project name. Let me just do a little bit of formatting. Let's prop text. The start date. Now we have to enter the start date. So the start date is 2022-09 and today is September 1. So this is the start date is today's date. That is 1st of September 2022. And the due date. For example, the due date which I want to add is 2022-09. That is September 6th. Okay, so just now in a new row, we have added the details of a new project which we want to create in Asana. So we have added the name of the project, description, start date and end date. Now because we have connected this Google Sheet with Public Connect, we will see that as we add the data instantly, the same data is added in Public Connect as well. So here in response, we can see the same data, same project name, same description which we have added, same start date and same due date. So in this way, we have successfully connected Google Sheets with Public Connect and received the data of new project from Google Sheet in Public Connect workflow as well. Now what we have to do, we have to send this data to Asana so that we can create a project over there. Now to do so, just scroll down and come to our action window. And here in choose app, select search for Asana. Select Asana over here. And in action event from the drop down, we have to select create project. So this is the action event create project. Just select it. After that, just select connect and click on add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Asana account with Public Connect. And to make this connection, just click on this connect with Asana button over here. And guys, because in my browser, I have already logged into my Asana account over here. Public Connect has detected the same account and made the connection. After connecting it, the first thing it asks us is the workspace. So right now in my Asana account, I have three workspace, IT, marketing and my workspace. So I want to create the project in this workspace named as IT. So I will select IT from here. Then it is asking us for the team. So I have only one team named as IT as well. So just select it and then the name of the project. So the name project which we are going to create in using this automation in Asana, what is the name of the project? So we have entered the name of the project in Google Sheet and we have received the Google Sheet response and Public Connect over here. And here in this response, we have this name. So what we have to do, we have to basically map this response over here in this project name section. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and in the drop down below, all the data which you have entered in our Google Sheet, which we have received the response which we have received from Google Sheet data can be seen over here. And out of all of these responses, select the response of project name and map it. Then it is asking us for the nodes. So in notes section from the drop down, we have to use the same process of mapping and we have to basically map the description of the process or description of the project, which we have received from Google Sheet. Then it is asking us start on. So let's ignore the start date, but we just wanted to add the due date and we have entered the due date in the Google Sheet. Just click on this field and from the drop down below, just map the due date. Now guys, that is asking us for the color. So the, I want the, this project color to be, for example, dark teal. So just select dark teal. And then the default view of this project should be board. So that's why I've selected board over here. You can basically select anything according to your choice. And at last, just click on save and send test request. Now, as we click on save and send test request, we can see that we have received a response over here. And in this response, we will see that this response shows that a new project with the details which we have mapped over here is now created in our Asana account. So let's go to Asana and check it. We'll go to Asana. And yes, guys, here in our Asana account, in the workspace which we have selected IT, a new project is created named as Google Doc Integration. So this is the project. Let's see the overview of this project. And this is the description of the project which says we have to integrate Google Docs with Public Connect. So in this way, guys, we can see that the automation which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. Now, every time you will add the details of a new project in your Google Sheet as a new row, automatically a project will be created in Asana with the same data. So let's test it. Let's enter the details of a new dummy project. For example, the name of the project is test project. Let's enter the description as we are just 
testing this automation. Let's add the, the start date as, for example, 2nd of September. Okay, the year first. And the due date as 2022-19-10. Just a second. 2022-19-10. Okay, so right now, we have just entered the details of a new project in our Google Sheet. And we will see that as this data is added, instantly, automatically, with the same data, a new project will be created in our Asana account. And yes, we can see that just now a project is created by the name of test project. And let's see the details of the project. And this is it. The, des the description is, we are just testing this automation. So guys, we have tested this automation workflow, which we have created in real time, and it is working perfectly fine. So now let's understand in brief that what are the steps we followed while setting up this automation. So first we have created this workflow and in this workflow, we have selected Google Sheet as our trigger application and new or updated spreadsheet row was our trigger event. Then after that, we have connected our Google Sheet with Pavli Connect so that we can all the data of new project which we are adding in Google Sheet can be received in Pavli Connect. And using Pavli Connect, we have sent that data to Asana so that using that data, we can create a project over there. So not just these application guys, you can basically connect plenty of other applications using Pavli Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow into in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this workflow for free. If you need any kind of help or have any queries, you can ask them on forum.pavli.com and you can check Pavli Connect's pricing at this link. So if this video was helpful to you, you can like this video. Don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration, you can subscribe to Pavli. Thank you. Have a nice day.